Hey everybody, this is Tripwire, about to do a quick video of Marillus Action 3.1.1, it's just released. Let's go over a few of the features and stuff for you. Just want to let you guys know too that there's actually an update for Marillus Action 3.1.2 being released on Wednesday. Marillus told me today, so I'll just give you guys a heads up on that. So the update we pushed out on the 2nd for Marillus Action. And I'm also using the latest version of the Windows update, the 18.08. Here, I'll show you that real quick too. Or sorry, 18.03, I apologize. Windows is the April update, whatever they call it. So far, so good. I haven't had a lot of, haven't had a lot of issues. Um, everything seems to be working well so far, so added some new features to it. I changed some of the things around. One thing I changed too, I'm kind of trying to use is this right here on the side, they made it darker. But one thing they did do, they changed this up, which is actually pretty cool. I should do free, free space now, plenty of free space. Which is pretty nice. I like that. Anyways, this is real action, so I know I'm I'm kind of going teeter between the two. 18.03 Windows Update and real action 3.1.1, which there you go, full version. Now I actually have a product key for this. This is my version, my copy. So just give you guys a heads up. Anyways, so real action. What they've done, they've actually since version three, the new version just came out. About a month ago, they've integrated um, Streamlabs, so you can actually put Streamlabs links for your chat, for your alert box, for your viewer count, your followers, all that stuff's in here now. You can actually see it here on here, and you can also set it to where you can have one of those like your chat box. You can have it set up either you can just see it in game or in the video, or both the video and the HUD. This is the only one option they have for that. I wish they did that for every single one. That would be pretty cool. But if you put everything down in here, any links you have is going to show up in the video. You won't see it on your game. But here you can actually choose to see it just in the video, or both the video and the HUD, or just the HUD. The HUD is this thing right here. It's this, and it'll pop up on us in the game. So and it's real simple. You just copy the link, paste it in here, Change the frame rate to 60 FPS so it actually comes out pretty smooth when it plays the animations for that. So it's not too bad. Video recording. You can have it set up for whatever format you want to choose for. Video size, always do 1080p, 60 FPS. It says for desktop. Only got one monitor hooked up, so it's only going to show one. If you have two, it'll show desktop two, desktop three, whatever, for multiple monitors. So let's just give you a heads up there. Webcam's not hooked up. You can also put overlay graphics like a, uh, say, it's not a picture of me, yay. Um, like you can do like a PNG file, it'll show like a little logo down the corner. Let's see, what else? You also change your. You can stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Smashcast. And I think there's actually a few other ones too, yeah. Livestream, Ustream, Alice's.tv, Smashcast, and Facebook, which I don't use Smashcast. I don't know who uses that, but yeah. Um, you can set it for public, unlisted, private for your video streaming. You can set your bit rate depending on what your monitor displays mine is only 1080p this does up to 4k just so you know action will record up to 4k and you can set your bit rate as high as you want they when you have i think a higher um i think it was at 4k it actually does it at a higher uh bit rate so like say if i set this to 720p my bit rate's only going to go to like 8 see 1080p i can set it to 12 you know 480p it's only going to go to 3 i think 4 yeah so there you go You can also set it to, and you got on a screen to show your graphics card here for your display. Let's go out the graphics card. If you set it to game, 
is I'm going to do for an application for the game. So DirectX or OpenGL to record. You can set it for area, like if you want to record a certain area, you can resize this, whatever you want to be here, I'll show you. So you can record certain areas of your desktop that you want to record. You want to move it, just click here, drag it around. If you don't want to record area and record a full screen, you can just close out of this, it'll go back to it. Also, Real Action has a writer on the screen. There it is. You can actually write stuff on the screen. See, just if you ever want to circle something like, okay, here's you go here to do this here, whatever you know, you can do that that way. You can turn it off. Just click the pin again. It goes off. Now here's what I like about this too, is that you can actually set your, get here you got the drag one mode on, it has to be chat mark or not, you can't change it. See chat mark disk, go to preview, and like say here's my chat box, here's this, right here. So you can actually move this around, resize it to whatever size you want it. You can put it anywhere on the screen you want to put it. This is my notifications for like my alert box for Streamlabs. For like, say I get a new subscriber, donation, whatever. I get a comment middle of the screen. I'll show it on the video during the game. So it's actually pretty cool. So I can actually show you. I actually got. There you go. There's your little things about action. Set your game. I mean, it's real simple to use. I mean, Action is a great program. I like it better than OBS, Bandicam, XSplit. Has a lot of nice features to it. I mean, I definitely recommend it if you want to get a good recording software. This is definitely the one to get. If you want something good that's stable, a stream, don't have any issues with, Real Action is definitely the one to go with. So when you actually record something with Merle's Action, you can actually upload it to YouTube within Merle's Action or Facebook. You can actually bookmark your videos within Merle's Action, which is pretty cool too. And then you got, you can mark a certain video as a favorite. You can cancel the recording by doing Control Delete. It's a chroma key for your like a webcam. So if you got a green screen set up behind you, you can set that up where it actually shows you in the video. I don't have a green screen green screen yet, but I'll be able to get one here soon. Now here's the overlay graphics I was talking about. You can actually put a logo. So this is the logo here, the little A. You can put that anywhere on the screen. You can put it there and then move it wherever you want it. Now this is pretty cool too. This is, comes in handy. Now if you want to, this only works if you're on the same connection so like say you're on Wi-Fi get your phone connected to Wi-Fi and your um, computer is hooked up to that you can actually control say your recording software you can stop and start it and your streams via this app <clears throat> so actually it's real helpful real beneficial if you guys want to use that it'd be it'd be great like say you got your webcam on your desk and say you're doing like a PC build or something. You can actually go to the app, stop it, move your camera over where you want to move it to, resume the, uh, the recording, and then bring it back, which is actually pretty neat. This is actually a pretty cool app. I like it. So here's where you can live stream to. You can also do video capture devices, which is pretty neat. See the live preview I've shown you about earlier, where you can drag and drop your windows wherever you want them for whatever you have, your webcam, whatever, your um, stream lab, stuff like that. And then the drawing panel, I went over that a while ago with the drawing panel, how you can draw certain things on the screen and stuff, which is actually pretty cool. You can bring it up, shortcut key, control H.
see and just I have to say control H and brought it up then control H to take it back off let's see you can set your audio for whatever device you have you can do multiple audio well multiple channel recording you can do screenshots PNG bitmap or JPEGs there's actually a benchmarking set up there like I said here's the you can do live stream this is a device like say if you have a um, like a video capture device through HDMI it'll pick it up you can use that so like an Elgato or Evermedia and it works with that settings you set your language whatever language you're currently using video quality bit rate input range so it's all pretty simple it's real nice I like that set your bit right here for your audio if you had an auxiliary audio device you can set it here so you can record two different audios at once here's your HUD settings so let's see I'll show you so I can actually change that to say so the opacity I can't say the word but you can lower it down to where it's barely visible or you can bring it all the way back up export you can choose whatever your graphics card is. so if you got AMD it'll say AMD app NVIDIA you got the NVIDIA NVNC or the NVIDIA NVNC HEVC which this right here is basically an um, it's five I can't remember what it is top of my head sorry this is four and this is five I can't remember what the exact exact uh, encoding is but yeah oh this is h264 and this is h265 that's what it is and this is your hotkeys you can set all your hotkeys up in here or whatever you're using it for Cam recording set up as home, so I gotta undo that because I'm using the home key to do this because they have it on a new update they're coming out with. You can actually set your mouse button, side mouse button, or whatever to the that. Yeah, sorry, I'll stop it. I'm using push to talk, that's why he's doing that. Sorry, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Real section 3.1.1, the 3.1.2 update will be coming out on Wednesday. Um, I will put download links in the description. Actually, they're already in there. Download links, and also I'm an affiliate for them. So if you want, you can buy the software through me. The link is down in the description as well. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Till then, take care, everybody. Be safe.